Let's see. I think for this last part, I'm just going to blow your mind with it, and then I'll do a problem on like the video channel or something like that. Mm. What is the difference between the vector sum equation and the converted equation? I think this was too long ago. Yeah, these are too far back. Sorry. I missed all these. Let me just show you one thing, and we'll all think about what we think is the answer, and then we'll just go. Because this is a weird counterintuitive thing about relative motion and angles. Okay. Yeah, somebody I think asked, what's the difference between that equation and just a vector sum? Nothing. That's the point. It's all this really is, is a vector sum. That's really all the relative motion equation is. Let's imagine um, here we have a projectile launch from a moving object. So if I wanted to combine things, motion problems involving moving reference frames, the difficult thing we might do is combine a projectile with a moving reference frame. And that would be the hard problem. And there's one in your homework. Right? So let's look real quick. So we have projectile from moving reference frame. Oh my god. So you have a truck here. Uh, la, la, la. And you have this cannon at some angle, 45 degrees. Right? And you have a bullet, and it comes out like that. V naught. Boom, 45 degrees. I'll make it clear, I was 45 degrees. But the truck is moving at V, some V also. Right? And the question is, well, there's a lot of questions we could ask. Um, what angle is the bullet launched in the ground frame? What angle? So the fact, so the 45 is in the truck frame, right? So this is the velocity vector of the bullet in the truck frame. The thing's mounted at 45 degrees, it's moving forward, it, it shoots it at 45 degrees. Right? This is the velocity of the truck in the ground frame, moving forward. So before we do it, let's test our intuition. We're going to do a three count, and you're going to say if you think it's higher angle or lower angle. Higher angle or lower angle? You ready? Say higher or lower. One, two, three. Everybody said higher? I heard a lot of higher. Let's do the thing. What is the velocity of the bullet in the ground frame? Oh, this is the velocity of the bullet in some frame plus the velocity of something in the ground frame. And the thing in between is the truck. Right? So let's see. Let's now just do our vector sum. What's the velocity of the bullet in the truck frame? It's there. What's the velocity of the truck in the ground frame? It's there. It's lower, right? The thing actually shoots at a lower angle because the truck is moving forward. Yeah, I know, it's weird. I don't know why we always think it's higher. I think it's because we think of the wind blowing it up or we think of the truck accelerating under it, which it doesn't do, right? But it's actually lower, and it actually makes sense. If you took this velocity vector and just added some of this, what, the net is lower. It's gotta be lower. So the angle does something kind of counterintuitive. And then once you set that up, then you know how fast it's moving, and you could do the kinetics in the ground, kinematics in the ground frame. It's just an article, a mass launched at this new velocity, a new magnitude and a new angle. And you just forget about the truck. So that's the one about beer bikes, so, or about the water balloon fight at beer bikes. So good luck with that one. All right. <laughs>